What's up guys? You've probably heard the news by now. I talked to the UFC. We're nine weeks out from this fight. It's happening. The show shows main event in the sphere against Rob. I've had a feeling for a while. I was really pushing for the fight. Rob was pushing the fight. Elia, Max were pushing for the fight. Connor wanted on the sphere. Chandler wanted the sphere. Everybody in the UFC wants on the sphere because it's gonna happen one time and one time only. Supposedly, this event is never gonna happen ever again. And I get to headline it. Uh, I got a call for the production team the other day and they said this shit's gonna be a fucking movie. I'm gonna have to put in some actual work during this promotion because of this. The, there's just the level of that's going into this. Absolutely insane. Honored to headline a main event, UFC Sphere. I am going to make Marab look stupid. I'm gonna make him look silly. I'm gonna make him look like he doesn't even belong in there with me. Too elite. He's not good enough. He's got good cardio. He's got good wrestling. He's got decent striking. But I'm great. He's decent. I'm great. Yesterday flew out to Vegas, just a quick day trip. We did promotions, we did face-offs, we did like the old school face-offs. I wouldn't say it was awkward, but it was a lot. Usually it's one face-off, fucking <clears throat> talk your shit, separate you. But this was like, we probably did seven or eight different face-offs because they were shooting the promo. They only had 15 minutes on the sphere. Uh, Grasso and Valentino were there, so they had to do theirs too. So a lot of chirps were thrown over at Marab. I don't want to say I'm in his head, but feel like it might be in his head a little bit. Marab told me to quit, tell my, tell my coach to quit talking shit. I said, that's on you guys, you guys can figure that out. He said, I'm gonna slap him. I said, you definitely should try, you, you should slap him. He's like, I'm talking to Street Fight. I'm like, you de he'd kill you, so you should try that. And he kind of piped down a little bit, but he'd chirp up a little bit every once in a while. But uh, yeah, I mean, after I knock him out cold, he's probably not gonna chirp much. And I did, I told him, I said, I feel a little bit bad for you. Maybe I'm gonna go to 45 and you can come run the division, but. While I'm here, that ain't happening, buddy. Oh, you know, I don't hate Rav. He's just ugly, and he's the next guy. So, you know, he's chirping at me. I'm chirping at him, and that's how it falls. He's going to be headlining the sphere. It's going to be the biggest, craziest event I think they've ever put on. They've already put in $16 million into the event to get everything ready to have a UFC fight there. They said they're never going to do that again. So it's literally going to be history. And... They said he's going to headline it, and headline it against a dangerous opponent. Sean's very, very confident right now because he took out Aljo with ease, he took out Cheetah with ease, and on paper, it's a good matchup for us. A short little wrestler with a huge dome piece, but the guy's dangerous. He's very dangerous. He's on a 10 fight win streak for a reason against the best. Beat up Jose Aldo, beat up Peter Yan, beat up just countless people, and now Sugar gets a chance to fight with him. So. For me, when I heard it, I'm freaking excited. I almost got goosebumps. It's just gonna be another crazy, crazy event that goes down in history. So I gotta just focus on my job, which is get his mind prepared, get his legs prepared, get him prepared to be just sharp as possible and be able to bounce knuckles off Marab's face for 25 minutes and to keep his distance, keep his range. Um, his fo footwork's gonna be a huge key in this and him being sharp and calm like he always does and see what happens. But. We make fun of Marab, we act like this. You hear Sean talking, but Marab is very, very dangerous. If we show up on an off day at all, it's not gonna go good for us. So we gotta make sure we show up on and uh, in shape, in the best shape of our lives and get ready to make history. I'm fucking pumped up for it, I can't wait. Right now, we just gotta focus on what we can control and that's getting his mind ready and his body ready to battle this little fucker. I mean, it's camp versus camp. If we see those guys right now, we'll probably fight them on the street if we see them. Um, so, so those guys are our fucking enemies, so just the main goal is to knock Mrab out fucking cold and bounce his head off the canvas like he did Thomas Almeida, and if he does that, then we'll be pretty satisfied. My name is Ricky Schmidt, I am 31 years old, and I'm looking for love. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just telling you I got the spear card. <gasps> you did? Yeah, Let's go! Down, oh, that's fine, okay, down, thank God, that was down, so down, much sit cooler. Down, sit down, sit down. Give me your oh. thoughts, give me your thoughts. So I got, I talk, I got, they talked to me, yesterday, called me yesterday. Are you the main or co-main? Main. Main event! I don't think you and Max are on it. Don't give a fuck, don't who cares? Fuck. Yeah. It's gonna, you're shaking. I know, I'm excited. Well, one, once in a lifetime, never, ever, ever gonna do this again, this, that sphere. Uh, Gary's gonna ask you some questions on the leaf though. Jopin's spear, it's meant for Sugar Shane. There's no one else in the UFC roster that fits the spear. Sugar Show's gonna put on a performance. Marab's going out like a light. See you there. Bro, I didn't think they were gonna give him the fight there for a little bit because we hadn't heard anything and it's like, you know, 10 weeks out or whatever. So I was like pretty surprised. I was like, I don't think 
he might get this fight. But now that it's here, now that it's announced, and now that he's the main event, it's like, bro, I already had a dream the other night that he's gonna knock this dude out with the left straight. So round one, two. So I'm pretty. I got goosebumps when he told me this morning. He he randomly told me on the drive over here, and I still don't fully believe it. But it's pretty fucking sick to hear. I have full belief that we live or he lives rent free in Aljo's head and the mind of the camp. Marab knows what it is. He's messaging multiple people from the gym. You can ask Schmidt next. He this guy is fucked with right now. He's fucked. Mark my words. Round one, left hand. I don't know what, but something with the left hand.